This question is from the October 2020 US SAT No Calculator. They're asking us for the sum of the two solutions to this equation. One option is to solve the equation and add the two solutions. There's another option that we'll see once we've solved it. So if I factor of x and x, the last term is positive, so they're the same sign. The middle term is negative, so they're both minus. I need two, two numbers whose product is 35. My first guess would be 5 and 7, and they do add up to 12. So that lo looks good. If I FOIL, I get x squared minus 7x minus 5x is minus 12x, and then negative 5 times negative 7 is plus 35. So that is the correct factorization. I have a product that equals 0, so either the first factor is 0, or the second factor is 0. Adding 5 to both sides of the first equation, x equals 5, or adding 7 to the second equation, x equals 7. Those are the two solutions, and the sum is 5 plus 7 equals 12. Choice C. It is not a coincidence that, is, that this is the negative of the x coefficient in a quadratic with a leading coefficient of 1. If your leading co coefficient is 1, the linear term coefficient is minus the sum of the solutions, and the constant term is the product of the two solutions. College Board will ask you several questions involving quadratics, usually requiring factoring or the quadratic formula, or some of each on your exam. So make sure you get a lot of practice with quadratics. And come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.